These are the top PS4 and PS5 games launching in April 2024. This month on PlayStation we get new Xbox games and that's not an April Fool's joke. The Rising Tide arrives on Final Fantasy 16, a Souls-like where you're a crab, and Shift Ops first console game, but let's go deeper into this month's top new games and DLC. First up we have Abstraction Games and Gearbox bringing back the failed MOBA hero shooter in the new gigantic Rampage Edition. It's a paid game rather than free to play as the original, and promises a diverse roster of unique heroes, each with a set of upgradable abilities. It also has a new game mode, cross-platform play, new maps and gameplay improvements. Don't care about MOBAs, then you can team up with friends to explore a vast, beautiful and dangerous place in the form of your backyard. Grounded, the game version of Honey I Shrunk the Kids from Obsidian Entertainment and Xbox Games Studios, arrives with crossplay and cross-progression between PlayStation, Xbox, Switch and PC, plus a new title update. It's not the only Xbox game, more on that later in the video. On that same day we get Planet of Lana, which launched from Wishfully and Thunderful into Game Pass last year. It brings a young girl and her loyal friend as they embark on a rescue mission through a colorful world full of cold machines and unfamiliar creatures, in an epic sci-fi saga that stretches across centuries and galaxies. This video focuses on new games, but there are also new DLCs, with Dead Island 2 getting its second story expansion in Sola, bringing you to the ultimate Californian music festival as a deadly virus sweeps through the valley turning its inhabitants into zombies, with an underworld rhythm calling from beyond. Face new enemies and find new legendary weapons to turn the tide for humanity. Meanwhile, the tide is rising in the final chapter of the critical acclaimed Final Fantasy XVI. The rising tide takes Clive and his crew to the lands of Mycida, after they receive a letter indicating the dominant of Leviathan, long lost icon of water, is in need of rescue. This unlocks all new story, battles, side quests, weapons, accessories, level cap and more, adding a new depth to Clive's journey before the end of the game. There will also be a free update that adds a quick complete function returning you to a quest giver upon finishing the quest, the option to save ability sets, customizable controls and more. Next we have Ayuden Chronicles 100 Heroes, a game designed to bring players a modern take on a classic JRPG experience, designed by the late Yoshitaka Murayama, creator of the Sukoden franchise. This second entry in the series allows you to lead over 100 heroes, hence the title, through a war-torn world only you can save. And you should save your father's spirit from the dead in Tales of Kensera Zao, Metroidvania coming from EA and Sorgen Studios, funded by actor Abubakar Salim, who you may recognize as Bayek from Assassin's Creed Origins. You control Zao, a young shaman who bargains with the god of death to bring his Baba back from darkness as you brave the beautiful and treacherous land of Kensera. From personal stakes now to global threats, you have to save the air from an invading alien force in the robot action RPG Megaton Musashi Ward from level 5. You become the pilot of the giant mech that serves as humanity's last hope and risk it all in an epic fight alone or with friends with crossplay and cross progression across PS4, PS5, Switch and Steam. Moving on, developer AgroCrab is launching its second game with another Crab's treasure, a Souls-like adventure set in a vibrant undersea kingdom on the verge of collapse. There you play as Quill, a hermit crab, who embarks on an epic treasure hunt to buy back his repossessed shell and discover the dark secrets behind the polluted ocean while arming yourself with any trash you can find. In contrast to that, Sandland, based on the manga created by the late Akira Toriyama, brings you to a desert world where both humans and demons suffer from an extreme water shortage. The action RPG has you controlling Beelzebub as you learn his powers and lead a company of heroic misfits into a legendary world filled with bandits, fierce wildlife and the royal army. On the same day, developer Shift Up brings its first ever AAA game exclusively for PS5 in the long-anticipated Stellar Blade. You play as Eve in this all-new story-driven action-adventure game, as she attempts to reclaim Earth for humankind from a strange powerful creatures called the Nativas and piece together the mysteries of the past in the ruins of human civilization. You can also piece together the enigmatic puzzles of time manipulation in the classic award-winning puzzle platformer Braid, making a return with the new Anniversary Edition. This remaster of the PS360 original has new puzzles, 
hand repainted graphics and fully reimagined sound and a completely unreasonable amount of developer commentary. Back to another Xbox game as Rare brings Sea of Thieves to PS5, making it its first PlayStation game ever in the 39 year history of the studio. The Smash Hit Adventure game offers one of the best pirate experiences online, with lost treasures to plunder, intense battles and sea monsters to vanquish. This also arrives with the start of Season 12, adding 3 new weapons and 2 new tools. But if you prefer to explore the depths of the ocean instead, there's Day the Diver arriving on PlayStation. The casual single player adventure RPG has you fishing and unraveling the mysteries in the depths of the blue hole by day, and running a successful exotic sushi restaurant by night. It also makes a splash with free DLC that brings Godzilla King of the Monsters. The game was announced with an April release window in the January state of play, but no specific date has been provided. And there you have it, those are the top PS4 and PS5 game releases for April 2024. Which ones are you looking forward to playing? Let us know in the comments below or vote on the poll in the community tab, like or dislike to share your feedback, check out other videos you may enjoy while you're here, and consider subscribing for more on PlayStation. Thank you so much for watching, my name is Joseph, this is Hype for Games, and let's get hyped!